Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Munga des Oreca. Welcome to my channel. This reading is about is this relationship over? And this can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. <coughs> my voice sounds very weird. <laughs> I'm a bit tired, but hopefully my throat will function uh, properly so I can speak to you. I hope you are all well. So let's see what is happening with this relationship you are thinking about. Starting with your side, Virgo. Let's see what you think about your person in this relationship. Oh, horned cactus, resourcefulness, number 29. So you believe that your person is like a, a hedgehog. They are, when they feel threatened, they... Uh, go back to their shell and um, or their cave or whichever picture you can work with and those spikes these um, thorns uh, can be really sharp and painful uh, so they could have sad words which really hurt you and um, I feel this resourceful, resourcefulness also is saying that there could be more to this situation, but they are very closed off, very defensive, and this is not working for you. How would you think about the relationship itself? Number 41. This is Moon Maiden, New Beginnings. So you definitely feel that um, a reset button needs to be pushed on this connection for stability. One is um, connecting with your higher self. Four plus one is five. That's the change. So as I said earlier, you cannot work with someone who is just running away from uh, communicating, talking from the work they have to do or whatever this is all about, number 11 and number 5. Uh, so you feel there is potential, but there needs to be big changes uh, the way uh, the connection is right now and how it should be. So why I, are you disappointed, Virgo? Why? Why are you disappointed? Fortunes via luck and right timing. Number five energy again, two and three. This time emotional expression is coming into the picture and the wings. I don't know whether you see them there. Um, I feel that you are disappointed because you felt that this time um, is the time for the two of you or was the time to make a positive change, to break out of old patterns, and by the look of it, it did not happen. That's why you are disappointed. Okay, two fives here, number 11 and two fives. Um, well, the, some cards were falling out. Uh, they are all talking about being lost and... Uh, lost compass, lost in space, watchers. So it's like uh, <clears throat> your spirit team were go or their spirit team or both were watching uh, what is happening between the two of you and um, it really didn't go to plan. Something didn't go to plan. Now let's uh, go to the other side and see how your person is thinking about you, Virgo. What do they think? Gathering around the power of community. So it's a number 26 energy. They, they see you as someone who whose light is attracting lots of people and that light is attracted has attracted them in too and I've, i'm getting from spirit they see you thriving what um, you you are also showing up as a leader that's how they see you 
what uh, way they see the connection between the two of you. You've got two cards showing up for this. One is 11, the other one is 8. Many masks, the authentic self with eye of the needle intention, okay? Intentionality, that's the word. So, I feel that this many masks, Spirit is showing me layers of an onion, like um, there is more to this connection uh, to truly find the right way forward. And in order to do that, very uh, narrow focus needs to be um, uh, applied. And um, the intention to peel off those masks. And I don't know whether they are ready to do that because obviously the two of you are, at least you are questioning whether this relationship is over or not. So it takes effort to make this connection go further. And um, I'm not sure whether they are in it or not to do the work. Why are they disappointed? Why are they disappointed? The Wailing Tree Reconciliations number 59. Change, progress, two, sorry, 5 plus 9 is 14. So, and 4 plus 1 is 5. Another change energy. Um, so they are disappointed because... They also felt, like you did, that this time things can really work out between the two of you, and, it, and they did not. But I feel this time the divine stepped in because it was a giant opportunity for the two of you to move forward. And... Um, I honestly feel that your person and you were on different timelines already. You shifted up to a higher timeline, Virgo, and they just kept going, doing their own thing, repeating old patterns, believing that if they lived their life like that until now, then it must be right and you must be the one who is wrong. But change, change, 5-5, five, five, is how we evolve. And um, I feel, Virgo, that you did the right thing. You were standing at the right place at the right time, but they could not uh, take the leap, literally, to, to go up to that timeline where you were standing. Very interesting. Let's look into this, um, how they see you, gathering around the power of community. Oh, interesting. <laughs> you might be intimidating your person, Virgo. Two of Swords with the Seven of Swords reversed. Um, I feel that in your presence, people are pushed to look at themselves. Your energy, Virgo, is like, um, a, you can look at it as an accelerator or an actual... Yeah, I, I am, I'm going to say mirror, but I do use mirrors in other ways in relationships uh, as examples. But this time, what I really mean by it is when someone is interacting with your energy, Virgo, they are being shown what they need to do, what they need to work on. So there is no more lies, no more pretending. You see through them, they know that. And... Um, 
so they they have to make a decision whether they actually want to do the work or not because you know you see them for who they are and what their potential is and what you would like in this connection to happen it's not like it's your will and everyone needs to do what you want it's more like you are very attuned to the to your own soul to the divine and uh, they could be spiritual i'm not saying they are not but they are resisting something that they need to look at this is why we have these authentic um, um what was that authentic self so they are being pushed to show their authentic self and they are not willing to so let's just ask about this authentic self a little bit more what is that we need to know strength yes they are hiding uh, away their true self because this is their conditioning this is how they were brought up and to be honest lots of us were brought up um, like we were told that showing emotions being vulnerable is weakness don't do that well that's a different world now where we live in and without vulnerability we cannot grow so this is something they need to have another look at. And um, being strong is a good thing as long as you, them, are connected with their heart. Because strength from ego and strength from heart and soul is a very different energy. And there is the lovers, uh, sorry, the two of cups here. So... And the lovers underneath, I knew that. I felt that energy. So, um, this is like, um, they fear that you love them. And you fear that they love you. But there is a decision needs to be made. That's the lovers. Whether the two of you want to um, walk this path together or not. And uh, what is destined for the two of you is to walk it together. But they might not be ready for this just yet or at all in this lifetime. Now, let's see uh, about these uh, reconciliations. So your person is disappointed because they thought this time it is going to work out. We've got the sky poppy with the sea alpha female. So this is the page of swords and the queen of cups. They are now watching you and thinking, is there a way forward? Trying to decide what to do. So you really uh, showed them that you love them. You see where they need to change. If they are going to be authentic with you, you are more than happy to explore where it can lead, but it takes work. And if they don't want to put in the work, the two of you are just not on the same timeline. So it's impossible to be together. And that is quite literally the case here. Okay. Let's see, what is the possible outcome? What is the possible outcome for the two of you right now? Oh, we've got a few things showing up here. Okay. I don't know where to start. Right, let's go from the bottom of the deck because we've got these two fives here. On, in your energy, Virgo, you absolutely know that without change, this connection is going to die. It, it possibly already died. If there is no change, if they cannot change, then it's nothing, nowhere to go. So this is the farther gate, bold step forward. That's what's required for this connection to survive. To be able to close the old cycle, five plus five is 10, that's completion. And from the 10, we've got one plus zero, which ended up with one, and that's a new beginning. So in order for this connection to come back to life, there needs to be this bold step forward on their part. 
Now, I'm going to show you the numbers first before I show you the writing on these um, cards. We've got 46, 64, and 53. These are literally, from the numerology point of view, the same energies because uh, 4 plus 6 is 10. That's the closing the cycle. That's the adaptability wood wives and the disowned self rude girl so this is and i am not picking up on sorry i'm not picking on your person saying that they have to do this they have to do that you already done this virgo if you are feeling this is your reading you worked through all of this stuff your own patterns abandonment issues childhood trauma emotional um, whatever storm you had uh, this lifetime, you already closed these cycles. So now it is up to your person to do the same. And I'm going to put them up here because this is the key. And we also have this Number eight energy, change in emotional expression, stranger, curiosity. So your person is seeing a side of you which they have not seen before. It doesn't mean it wasn't there, but they definitely did not see you that way. And, you know, um, I am an energy healer, so I, I understand that we can only see each other on the level we get to on our self and spiritual development. So they may not realize that you, Virgo, could have started off a lower, uh, on a lower uh, timeline when the two of you met, but you grew so much that you went higher than they were. And they were um, like working with the setting like um, they are on the higher timeline and you are the one who need to do the work. And you did. And that took you further than where they are at right now. So this time it's their job to do the work so the two of you can meet on this higher level. And this is really fascinating. This is what the key is here. So you could be dealing with a Leo, a Gemini so far. So let's just see about this outcome. What oh, we, we see what needs to happen but are they willing to put in the work? Ace of Pentacles. They might. And the Knight of Pentacles. So it looks like they don't want to uh, fully step away from this connection. They could be just simply stubborn and they want to get what they feel they deserve. But there is a little hope here that they might just decide, okay, I see what I need to do and I am willing to put in the work, not for Virgo, but for myself. And that might help to mend this situation with Virgo as well. So this is a really big uh, crossroad or turning point or whatever. But they do see you as... Um, a stranger, like, oh, who is that? <laughs> okay, Virgo, I'm going to continue this on Patreon. Thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. And I can't wait to see you again. Take care. Bye for now.